despite all the buzz around ai and the fact that everyone is talking about it for most people it just begins and ends with chat gpt in the name of ai that is what most people are doing chat gpt gemini deep seek and that's it nothing beyond it do i really need to tell you that as smart people we should be using ai to do our work more efficiently now see i do understand why most people are just watching ai generated reels and ai generated content instead of really using ai to do their work more efficiently because most people don't even understand what part of their work can be done more efficiently and how it can be done using ai because most of the tools and the platforms that are available are number 1 paid and expensive and number 2 they are intimidating and technically challenging they look very technically challenging at least so introducing to you agentstop.ai agentstop.ai is the one stop platform for automating your work using ai agents and it is incredibly simple to use i am going to show it to you i promise it is going to be very very useful for you i know you must be thinking right now is it really for me is it designed for software engineers for sales and marketing teams for product managers or for hrs who is it designed for so the answer is that it is designed for you it is designed for every professional from every domain we have been working on it for months and we truly believe that in future every professional from every domain is going to be using agentstop.ai to make their work more efficient and better without wasting any more time let me show it to you this is agentstop.ai where we let ai do your work let's begin by simply signing in with google and once i sign in with google you can see that currently i do not have any missions now what are missions see any ai automation that we want to accomplish we are going to create a mission for that so missions are just another word for the ai automations that we want to create and accomplish so yes we can begin by creating our new missions but currently if you are wondering that what are the different automations that are possible for your domain so for that we have also created a lot of templates for different domains here you can see there are templates for software development for productivity for business operations and as you can imagine this is going to be an ever growing list so this will give you an idea of the different automations that are possible for your domain and it is very simple to create missions from the templates that are already available like for example if i want to consider this template i can just click on this button and create a mission from here and that's it see creating a mission is always a one time effort so there is going to be an editor we are where we are going to tell that this is what should happen in my mission or in my ai automation now i will obviously have to configure these and i'm going to show it to you because currently you might be a bit overwhelmed by what is configuration what is using a mission so for that to keep things simple right now i'm just going to go back to the dashboard and here you can see that we have already created a mission from template but let's start by creating a custom mission where you will be able to understand it if you have to create any simple or any complicated mission how you can do it because you should be able to create any custom missions as you like right so it is very simple and again i am repeating it it is just a one time effort so once you set up your automation once you set up your mission you can use it as many times as you like so it's just one time effort to create your automation so let's begin let's create a new mission by clicking over here i'm just going to call it demo mission and now in any mission or ai automation we want to have different small small tasks to be accomplished right that first do this then do this then do this then do this so we have to do this one time setup saying that okay these are the different tasks that should happen so just think about it that what are the different types of tasks that can be there the first thing is that we want to tell that this is how we are going to start our automation this is how we are going to trigger our mission so how can we trigger our mission by maybe a discord message so every time a message comes on discord or on slack or on telegram or on whatsapp my mission should be triggered or started or maybe i'm going to schedule my mission maybe in a few hours or weekly or bi weekly and so on right so there are a lot of possibilities and obviously more possibilities will be added over here but for demo purposes let's get started by triggering our mission using our proprietary agent stop chat so how chat gpt also has its own chat right we are, we also have our own chat so you can just trigger using agent stop chat also just repeating it there are many ways of triggering or starting your mission so you can maybe trigger it using a whatsapp message or you go just going to drop a message and i'm going to show it to you or just drop a telegram message that do this and the mission is going to get executed so the first step is to tell how to how and when to start your mission right so we have configured that 
Now we can add more tasks that when a message comes, what is the next task that should be executed? Since we are creating agentic automations, of course, a very important role is going to be played by agents. And when creating agents, we can be using any models, not just GPT-0304. We could also be using free versions like Grok, Llama, we could be using Claude, Gemini, anything. For demo purposes, I'm going to be using GPT-40. I've already copied the API key, so I'm pasting that. If you do not have your API keys, you can create using the documentation over here. It is very simple. You just have to configure your agent, right? You can also tell that the agent should act like a fitness trainer or something like that. And you can choose to enable or disable your agent memory. Now, what is agent memory? Let me explain to you in very simple way. In a particular chat, do you want to remember the conversations before? Like in ChatGPT, you must have seen when you type a message in that particular chat, the previous messages are also remembered, right? So you can keep talking about the relevant things and you can keep asking relevant questions. So if we enable agent memory, more number of words or tokens are going to be used for your API keys for your model. So you can choose to have that or not have that. Let me also show it to you, don't worry about it. So currently I'm not going to enable agent memory and I'm just going to save the configuration. So what have we done so far? We said that we are going to receive a message on our agent stop chat and that message should be sent to our agent. That is why I have connected and configured this, right? So whatever message is received on our agent stop chat, that is going to be sent to our agent. Now agents or LLMs, as you know, deal with natural language. So agent is going to generate some content. There are a lot of tasks that can be possible after this. Let's take some examples. For example, we're asking our agent to maybe write a mail. So maybe we can have the action of sending mail after this. So we can have a Gmail send. Or maybe we are asking our agent to generate some documentation or some story or anything. And we can ask in our automation to write to Google. So we can have a Google Docs, right? So we won't have to copy our mail or copy our documentation and then paste to Gmail or paste to Google Docs. We can just create the automation that do this, right? So as soon as I send a message, your agent is going to generate the documentation and put it to Google Docs. No copy paste happening over here. Or maybe we can ask our agent to schedule a Google Calendar event. So we can have a Google Calendar right over here. Or maybe send an HTTP request or maybe generate a resume, right? So we are going to see all of this or send a Slack message. So there are so many actions that are possible over here, so many possibilities. We could also add tools and I will show that to you as well. Don't get confused right now. So I'm not going to that much detail. Let's get started with a very simple mission for now. So what I'm going to add after agent is a simple responder. Now, why do we need a responder? As I told you a lot of examples right now, we might not always want a response in our chat, right? Maybe we just want a mail to be sent or something to be added to Google Sheets or Google Docs or anything like that, right? But if we want a response, then we can add a responder. This responder is going to respond to our trigger itself. So because I have an agent stop chat as the trigger, I'm going to get the response in our agent stop chat itself. Maybe if there was a WhatsApp trigger, then we would have gotten the response on the WhatsApp itself. If there was a Telegram trigger, we would have gotten a response on the Telegram trigger itself. So I'm just going to connect this. So this is a very, very simple mission that I have created. This is, you can think of it like a very simple chat GPT itself because I'm using GPT in our agent and I'm just getting the response in our agent stop chat itself, right? So we are actually ready to use our very, very simple mission. Once we have put the one-time effort and configured all the tasks in our mission, we can make it live in order to use it. Once it is live, obviously we cannot make any changes, but we can always make it offline again and make the changes in the configuration. Now in our mission, we said that we were going to trigger it using agent stop chat. So in order to start the chat, we can just go over here. Now when I click this, we are in our agent stop chat window. So as your number of missions are going to increase, you will be able to see the missions over here and you will be able to chat over here, right? Obviously, you'll be able to see the missions where the trigger was agent stop chat. If the trigger was something else, say like WhatsApp, then you will not see the missions over here. So this is your agent stop chat window. Now over here, let's get started with a very simple small message maybe who is Modi. This was a very small message that we used for a lot of testing as well. So let us see, mission is already triggered. We executed the agent and we have the response. Now, if I ask, when was he born? Let's see if we get the response or not. So here you can see it is asking, could you please provide more context or specify whom you are referring to? Because it doesn't know who is he over here. 
who are we talking about because it doesn't remember the previous messages and I hope this tells you the importance of agent memory. We are going to go back, go offline, we are going to go to our agent configuration and we are now going to enable the agent memory. Now we are going to save it again and we are going to make it live again. We are going to go back to our chat and let's ask the same question again. Who is Modi? So it has triggered the mission and we are going to get a response. Now this time because we have enabled memory, when I ask the same question again, I'm just going to copy over here and paste it and it should be able to tell the response. Now you can see it now had the context of whom we are talking about. Now you must be thinking that Kiti, all the models that we use in our agents are dated. But ChatGPT has the feature of web search that if some information is not there, we should be able to search the internet and get the information. How can we do that? Like for example, very simple example, let me show it to you. If I ask who won IPL 2025, do you think our GPT-40 is going to have this information? Let's see. So here it is saying that I cannot have the information because my data goes up to only October 2023. So how can we do that? Let's go back to our mission. Let's make it offline. And along with our agent, what can we add such that our agent is able to search the web when required? So there are tools available for that. There are many options. One of the options that we can use is Tavili Web Search Tool. Now, what is the difference between tool and an action? See, tools will always be used with agents. Actions can also be done separately. Over here, what is going to happen is agent is going to realize that I do not have the latest information. So I need to do web search. It will do the search and then it will respond to us then itself. So it will use the tool as and when required. So over here, we have added Tavili web search tool. And here I will obviously need to again configure it so you can create your API keys and just paste it over here. Let me also do that quickly. I just pasted the API key. I'm going to save it. I'm going to make our mission live again. Go back to the chat and ask the same question now. It took comparatively a little bit more time because our model went to Tavili web search. It searched the web and it got us the response. Isn't this beautiful? Let's do some more fun stuff. What if I want to crawl the websites? Like for example, suppose I ask what is Educosis? So it will be able to web search and tell me what is Educosis, right? So let's see that. As you can see, I was able to get that, okay, it is an online platform taught by Kirti Paswani, teaches HLD, LLD, DSA and all of that. But what if I ask that, tell me the curriculum of Jenny, okay? It was able to tell us the curriculum as well. Now this is beautiful. But now for crawling the websites, instead of doing Tavili web search, another tool that you could have also used is Firecrawl. So there are many tools like this that you can explore. So sometimes web search might not be enough. So you can also use Firecrawl. You can also configure this and you will be able to crawl the entire websites and get information for that as well. So like this, there are a lot of tools that are available. Before we move ahead and I show you more cool tools and actions, let me just quickly demo that instead of agent stop chat, you could be using any trigger. As I just said, you could be using any of these triggers, right? And I am guessing it will be very cool to just think about it that for any mission or automation, you can just drop a WhatsApp message to trigger it or just a Telegram message, right? So let me just quickly demo it. So instead of agent stop chat, I'm going to add the Telegram task and I'm going to just connect it to the agent. Obviously, you'll have to configure it for the first time. You can do that using this documentation. You'll have to create a Telegram bot for that. I'm just pasting my access token. I've already done it. I'm going to save it and I'm going to make our mission live. I'm going to go back to our Telegram and let's ask anything. Maybe what are LLMs? And let's wait for the response from our agent. As you can see, the mission is triggered and we should get our response very soon. So you can see we got a response, right? So you can just use Telegram or WhatsApp to trigger any mission. Currently, I am just using it like a simple chat GPT, basically just a simple chatbot. But the missions can be very, very complex and the possibilities are obviously endless. Let me show more to you. Let me quickly show you the WhatsApp trigger as well. So I'm just going to go offline, delete the Telegram task and we're going to add the WhatsApp trigger. Again, for this, we'll have to do some configurations and let me just quickly do that. I just configured the WhatsApp trigger. I'm just going to save our configurations, make our mission live, go to our WhatsApp and probably ask something, probably what are neural networks. As you can see, the mission is triggered and we got the response. Beautiful. It's time that we do some crazy stuff and software engineers are absolutely going to love this one. 
I'm going to add a tool GitHub now. And of course, I'll have to configure it for the first time. So I'm just adding my access token over here and I'm going to save it, Mega Mission Live. Go back to our WhatsApp and I'm just going to say that create a repo, DSA practice on GitHub and probably create a main branch. And let's see, mission is triggered. So I got the response that the repository has been created. And if I go to my GitHub, you can see that it just got created one minute ago. And let's go inside this. Currently there are no files, right? So let's say that create a file binary search.cpp and add binary search code to it. Mission is triggered. Okay, so it is saying that it has already created the file. Let's go back over here and you can see the file, right? So people talk about vibe coding, but this can be like real vibe coding, right? You can just type from WhatsApp and you can add your code reviews. You can make changes to it. You can add complete new files. You can make the agent generate code and add to your repositories. You can create repositories. You can do just so much, right? Now I hope you are able to see the potential over here. Similar to GitHub, we have, of course, so many other tools, like we have different tools for a lot of databases as well. So you can connect to your databases using just a WhatsApp message. You can write your queries in plain English and get responses. The queries that you used to have to like connect to database and then type the query over there. You can just type on WhatsApp in plain English and you'll get response from various databases, right? Of course, there's so much that can be done. But to impress you even further, let me show you one more thing. So we saw one tool, let's see one action also. So I'm going to remove GitHub and instead of responder, first I am going to add resume PDF generator. Like this, we'll keep adding more and more actions, right? So here we have given a few templates based on which you can generate resumes, which is just amazing, right? So you'll just have to give the information and it will generate the resume for you. So currently I'm just going ahead with this simple template or maybe let's go with this template. You can try any template, right? So I'm going with a simple one. Let's save it, let's close it, let's go online and let's go back to our WhatsApp and I have typed a very generic example that I actually used agent only to generate. So I'm just creating a simple professional resume with some sample data. So I've gotten a resume over here. The link is going to be there for one hour. You can always download it and keep it. So let me just quickly do that. And once I open it, you can see that I have the resume ready. So you can just give your information on WhatsApp and you will get your resumes in different templates. Isn't this cool? There is so much more that I can show you, but we'll do that in the upcoming videos. I hope you can see that a lot of effort has gone behind agentstop.ai. Months of effort behind every single task, every single action, so many technical difficulties, financial challenges, and a lot more, right? Every product has its own journey, and I'm going to share that. I'm going to keep talking about it and in the future videos as well. But for now, I hope you can see that our entire team has given all our heart to agentstop.ai. We genuinely believe that it is going to be big and it is going to be really, really useful for every professional in every domain. But now it is yours. Agentstop AI is yours. And I hope you will give your love and support to it. Please do check it out. Please try creating the missions and share with every single professional that you know out there. Share your feedback with us. Let us know the automations that you would like us to add. Because guys, we are just getting started.